In this video, I review averages, in this case the mean, and combining together means. If you enjoy the video, please do share and subscribe. I do intend to try to update daily as best as possible, so please do revisit where possible. Okay, in problem one, we've got five boys, and the boys have got a mean height of 1.62 metres. There are seven girls with a mean height of 1.55 metres. And we're asked to find the overall mean of all the boys and all the girls. Now a common error is to add together the two heights and divide by two. But the problem is there were more girls than boys. And therefore we've got to factor in this somehow in the calculation. Now then, we begin with the boys. Five boys with a mean height of 1.62. So this means that on average, each individual boy has an average height of 1.62. So if I do five lots of 1.62, that will tell me what the total height of all the boys is. So five times 1.62 gives me 8.1. So the boys have a total height of 8.1 metres. Now, there are seven girls with an average height of 1.55. So, if I do seven lots of 1.55, that will tell me the total height of all of the girls. So, 10.85. Now, the girls' total is higher than the boys, not because the girls are taller, because there are more girls there. And this is the girls total. So, to find the overall mean, I can find the sum of all the heights of the people in the room. So, 8.1 plus 10.85. Now, I will this on the calculator, which we're going to finish off with division. So, 8.1 plus 10.85 which, as we know, is just 18.95. However, to find the mean, we then divide by the total number of people. So five boys and seven girls. So the total divided by 12 gives me the combined overall mean, which equals 1.58 metres to two decimal places, or one, two, three, three significant figures. So the golden rule for these combining the mean questions is to multiply the number of people by the mean to get the totals and to work with the totals rather than the individual means. And in the end I divided by 12 because there were 12 people in total. Now the second problem is similar but subtly more difficult, I think, to get your head around. Now, in a room, there are six people, and they've got a mean height of 1.5. And one of these people, we don't know who, leaves the room, but we do know that one person has a height of two metres. So a very tall person that leaves the room would expect the average to decrease. But the question is, what is this new average or mean of the people left once this tall person has left the room? However, we still obey the same idea. There are six people originally in the room, each at a height of 1.5. So six times 1.5 is nine meters. So that is the overall total of everybody in the room to begin with. However, what then happens is, is someone leaves the room and they're two meters tall. So the total height in the room decreases by two meters. So therefore the total height now is only 7 metres. And that is the total height of the five remaining people. So to find the new mean, if the total is 7 metres, I do the total divided by 5, because there are 5 people. And 7 divided by 5, we know is 1.4 metres. So the new mean of the five people 
is 1.4 meters precisely. So again, we found the total, we took away the 2 meter, and we then divided by 5 because there were only 5 people left in the room. So the golden rule when working with combining means again is to multiply the means by the number of people and work with those totals. Again, please do share and subscribe and keep on checking back for more essential revision videos.